Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great? I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Uh, my beer for a champions he is 4-0 since moving to Jackson Link MMA. Miocic has won in 43 seconds. 45 seconds, 54 Joe, and 247 to take the belt from Purdue. And there's that hard power kick that we were talking about. Look at that. He's literally running. Oh, oh my God. goodness! You got the guillotine. Can he finish it right here, right now? His guillotine is nasty. Miocic in huge trouble. No, he's not. Not he even. And he's chasing over him down. He's still wobbly, though, Mike. He's still wobbly. He's on shaky legs. 87 ball. Big start. Next. Stipe right in the pocket. Santos in the Ben Rothwell fight, yeah. he looked as good as he's ever looked. He looked like a different man. Everything about Junior, everything about Junior looked, looked better in that last fight as opposed to the fight against uh, Alistair Oldman. He looked as fast as ever, very patient. And it, a lot of that could also be attributed to his move to American Top Team. I think that's a big factor in this fight. This is a big key for Junior, not being against the side of the octagon. He puts himself in danger. He takes damage when he gets too close to the fence. Leg kick by Junior. That's two, very low. Same kick that Young Jacek is throwing. That's that same low kick Young Jacek is throwing. Stipe's throwing some hammers here. Yep. 
Couple right hands have landed early for the champion who now presses forward. But I mean, after only two kicks, if you see Stipe already kind of walking gingerly on that leg. Yeah, there's a little limping going on. Yep, he's having a hard time with that left yeah, hand. Yeah, already. Yep. And now look at how square he is. You gotta be careful there. how much it's swelling up. Already, two kicks. Hey, beat him up! So that's Junior learning to mix things in. I mean, for the longest time, he rarely got kicks. Now, Vietrich's found the home for that left hand. Del Santo circles out. The issue with that kick, as effective Ooh. as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Yep, there's another one. Looks like a shin guard by the swelling on the front of that left cap. Oh, tagged him. He tagged him twice. Steve is doing a good job of just getting after him now, knowing that he's taking that damage to the leg. And exactly what you were saying about Junior putting his back to the cage. Yep. He, plays, he takes damage when he does that. I don't understand why he still does that. Oh! of Steve Bay Halfway, Stephen, halfway. Right Hands up. Ah. Hands up, Stephen. Finish a try. Good shot by Miacic. Hits and down again. Under hit. Under hit. Two minutes. Steve Bay's doing a great job of making him carry his weight here as well. Just hang it on. Yep. I promise and God would rather Stipe punch him than do this right now. Because punching him allows Ngannou to get some release so he's not feeling all that weight. That's interesting. Herb Dean's calling for action, but this is a smart move for Stipe. This is the perfect way to fight. And the not trying to get hurt. And Stipe is very smart to hold him in this position and just keep draining Dragged him right back down easily again. And now he's on the neck. Ghanu's style, at least to this point, is such that he expends a lot of energy and not much resistance. But able to work his way to the fence now. And the single all day for Stipe. And Ghanu doing the right thing. He's pushing the head down. The problem is he's square with Stipe right now. Watch your play. Turn up. Pay attention to the pummel battle here on the fence. This, is a, this will dictate who wins here. Right now, under hook's winning. Under hook by Ngannou. Tried it. Too much explosion. Yeah, too much explosion. And then when he went down, he didn't immediately try to explode back up because he doesn't have the energy for it. So now he's stuck in the same position. Oh, 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 that's it. That's all it takes. What else? The and that's a double leg transition, and Gano went to Wizard, and he's transitioned to the knee tap. Very Stephen's nice. talking to him. He said something to him when he had him down. So what did you punch me for? And you're just going to waste that. The biggest difference about why Gano cannot explode as well is the hook 
of Steve Bay in the half guard. Yes. Now he's got him anchored to the floor right now. Steve, and Ghana has to get that leg out from half guard before he can try to dig an underhook and stand up on the fence. And Ghana's just eating punches here. He's in big trouble. He's just tired of being tired. I guarantee you he'd rather eat those shots than try to get up. See, without that, with that leg caught in there, he can't explode up the way he wants to. He can't be athletic. He has to deal with the problem at hand, which is the leg and then the underhook. Look at that. Side control. Easy. And he just doesn't seem to know what to do. I mean, when you see him on the ground, he's not, he's not scooting his hips. He's not adjusting. If anything, he should at least be on a hip, not flat on his back, right, Joe? Well, he's at least trying to get the half guard. He got the half guard. And do you think that's an advantage here? If he gets the underhook on the same side, but he, he doesn't have the energy to get up. So even if he gets Steve yeah. off him, yeah. he's just drained. He's not Steve quitting. Steve is just dropping bombs on him. He is not quitting there. No, 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 I mean, he's, he, he's, he's a exhausted. tremendous fight. He just has not experienced this yet. He's slamming elbows into his body, punches to his head. Now Ngannou's trying to get up, and Steve won't let him. So he's getting more tough. This is when you start beating yourself because your body's so tired it doesn't want to move. You'd rather take a punch from somebody else and use your own energy to get up. And Ghana is still there. Look at this. But he's so tired. And look at this. And now he's listening. He said, I need more power on the ground. Now he's giving it. I feel like if Stipe took his back here, he would be able to finish it. Stipe's next submission win will be his first. I mean, this is crazy. When was the last time you saw a guy in a world title fight in the fifth round that's this time? It would have to be Junior Dos Santos versus Cain Velasquez. He did it to Stipe, did it yes. to him as well. They're very similar in those styles. That Ngannou has over Stipe. And that punch would be real fast than some of we've seen before. Well, now would be the time. 27 seconds and counting. Oh, flying knee attempt. Looks like Stipe's going to underhook his way to the win here. Last 15 seconds. This should do it. Stipe Miocic putting the finishing touches on a dominant mixed martial arts effort here tonight. They are standing and cheering in Boston. Stipe Miocic for the winner by unanimous decision. And